हेलो एवरीबॉडी सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इसी टू स्पॉट स्टांसेस एंड एज आई हैव आल्सो सेड इन द बिगनिंग आई टोल्ड वीडियो दैट इफ इट इज गेटिंग अ लिटिल फास्टर यू कुड स्लो इट डाउन लाइक व्हाट आर द पॉइंट्स ऑफ 5x एंड एज बेस्ड ऑन योर इवन स्पीड इट अप बट सो uh so as uh, i'm will be i will be increasing the pace of the course uh, a little more uh so to complete it a little faster so that's why i've been telling you that you could even slow it down so don't worry about that so let's get started with this is today's part in stances so uh here we'll be talking about these today's part in stances and they allow you to get discounts up to 90% compared to on demand stances so how does that how how does it work so well you define a max spot price and uh, you are going to get the easy two instance as uh, long as the spot price uh, as long as the as long as the current spot price and it determines uh, of, uh, of that spot price and it is determined based on that spot price uh, uh, and the offer and the demand so as long as the current spot price is less than your max then you are going to get that instance but then if the offer and um, uh, and the main vary and capacity varies then the spot instance prices may go up and if the spot price goes over your max price uh, then you choose to either stop or terminate your spot instances and uh, you have 2 minutes grace period so this is where you can clearly shut down your application and save your files and so on so spot instances are great for batch jobs data analysis or any kind of workload that is resilient to failure but uh, you should not use them for critical jobs or database as well because uh, they can be reclaimed by aws very quickly any time and you can even lose them so in terms of the here in terms of the aws uh, in terms of the spot price what does it look like so this graph um so this is an example for m Four dot large instance, instance type of the Linux UX, and uh, our date range is after three months. In the uh, US, uh, is the one June have been shown here. Yes, is one. Yes, is one, and all of the availability zone one A B C D E F, and the lowest price in which availability zone is in the green availability zone point zero three two seven, three two six is also here available point zero three two six. it's varying a lot i think so so if you have 1 a uh, so if you have 1 a 1 uh, b 1 c and etc uh, you have uh, these are the different prices the prices can vary over time in the different availability zones so if you define your user max price at here this dotted black line uh, that's horizontal and then as long as the price is underneath that black line we get an instance and instance uh then as long as it's above it we we'll lose the instance we terminate or stop the instance and so we can see the spot price is quite lower than on demand price so if your user define max price it's very high then you will never lose your spot instance based on this graph but if it's quite low for example where it is right now there's a chance for example for the red line uh that sometime the price gonna go be price gonna be higher than what you want and sometimes going to be lower than what you need so it depends how you want to bid but the idea is that uh with this spot instance you want to define a max price that you are comfortable uh, with for your uh, uh, like economies and but at the same time uh that will make sure that if you lose your spot instance you then you haven't you haven't lost your data and so on now now a spot fleet is a little bit different a spot fleet is a collection of spot instances and optionally on demand instances for this uh, you set a maximum price you are willing to pay for your spot instances and uh, you can have a maximum instance type uh, 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 you can have a mix of instant uh, instance type so you can not only have m4 dot uh, large instance but you can also have m5 dot large instance m5 dot x large instance c 5 dot 2x large instance etc etc so it's a mix of instance type so and uh, you are more interested into the compute power than the instance type itself so it supports easy to stand alone 
ओके ऑर्डर ग्रुप्स Auto groups using launch templates. Uh, it supports uh, ECS that are relying on their underlying auto scaling group and uh, AWS batch when you are using a managed compute environment. So this is a mix of demand and spot instances. The goal really here is to serve a baseline demand and optimized workload for more demand with a much lower price point. Uh, so uh, soft limits. The target capacity burst spot fleets are easy to of uh, uh, easy uh, to fleet is like ten thousand, uh, so you can have up to ten thousand launch burst per fleet, and the target capacity that's for the virtual CPU by the way. Uh, so across all spot fleets for a spot fleet, uh, and the east two fleet within a single region is hundred thousand. So it is quite possible to have uh, huge workloads launched uh, using a spot fleets and the thing is good to know going uh, and uh, going into the exam these things good to know going into the exams. Okay next. Okay, next uh, um, spot fleets. Uh, so this is the ultimate way to save money. So spot fleets is going to be a way to define for you to get a set of spot instances and optionally on-demand instances. That's so what it's called a uh, spot fleet. Uh, a spot fleet, and that's a spot fleet will try its best to meet the target capacity uh, with the price constant you define. Uh, so it will launch from possible uh, launch pools so it can have different instance type different OS and availability zones and you are going to define multiple launch pools so multiple instance types multiple uh, everything and then the fleet will choose the best and most appropriate launch pool for you and when your spot fleet either reaches your budget or reaches the capacity you wanted then it will stop launching the instances and uh, you define a, a strategy to allocate a spot instances in your spot fleet and that's uh, something to remember the first is lowest price and that's going to be the some of the most popular one going uh, going into the exam uh, what is that a spot fleet will launch instances from the pool that has the lowest price and that gives you a lot of cost optimization and this is a great option if you have a very short workload you can also have a diversified way to launch your spot instances in which case like the launch the launch the spot instances will be distributed across all the pools that you have defined uh, from before which is great for availability and uh, uh, long workloads because one pool goes away then uh, your other pools are still active and then finally you have capacity optimized to launch with the optimal capacity uh, based on the number of instances and choose the right pool for that. So the idea is that uh, spot fleets can be complicated but uh, what you have to remember is that the using the spot fleet you are able to define multiple launch pools, multiple instance type and so you are just interested in raw power and then if you use the lowest price discount at the lowest price, uh, lowest price, price strategy for spot fleets then the spot fleets will automatically request uh, uh, for uh, request the spot instances and the lowest price for us and uh, so spot fleets have an extra saving based on the spot instances because it's smart enough to choose the right spot instance pool to allow us to get the maximum number of savings and this is the benefits of spot fleets and again you need to understand the difference here of being a very simple spot instance request where you know exactly the type of instance you want and the AZ you want uh, to using a spot fleet and uh, saving and uh, saying okay uh, you can choose all these instance types and all these availability zone and uh, what I need from you is to give me the lowest price for example okay so that's uh, hopefully is going to give a lot of insights into how a spot fleet and a spot instance, uh, instances are different 
I hope you like this lecture and I will see you in the next lecture.